The Flash versus the Turtle. Who wins? Hey, what's good, Flash fans? This is Comfire Comics, and we're here to talk about The Flash, episode 10. I'm Comfire Rich. And I'm Comfire Nate. We're going to talk about our best moments, our favorite moments for this entire episode. Uh, right off the bat, Richie, what was your first thought? Um, look, I was sitting down, I was eating some popcorn. I got this really nice blend of popcorn, salt, and kettle corn. And I was munching, and then all of a sudden, I'm watching this, and Zoom comes in, takes Patty, and dips out. And like, I was literally like, oh my goodness, they ain't not wasting no time. And was confused. I was literally confused because they was talking about, like, she knew he was a flash. He just kind of come in, burning up flowers. He was running so fast. I was like, did she not see him run in? And, like, they were talking like she knew who he was. And I was like, I missed something. Like, this <laughs> this break got me because I, I missed the episode. And uh, I just, I didn't catch it. I didn't catch up on it until Zoom was hanging off the hanging off the building when he dropped her. I knew it was a dream as soon as Barry didn't run down the building. You know what I'm saying? Because I was just like, I ain't going to drop her. Barry's just going to run down the building and catch her. But to me, the opening scene was awesome. Had my eyes popping out of my head. You know, thinking, put me right back in to the flash. Yeah, yeah. It was it was good. It, it kind of kind of reminded you about the threat, you know, the threat that there is the Zoom that is on everyone's mind. Um, you know, it's on his mind. It's on Wells' mind constantly because Wells is, mm -hmm. you know, left with the dilemma that we saw from the finale, uh, midseason finale, was that basically Zoom told him, um, if you don't get Barry faster so I can take a speed force, I'm going to kill your daughter. Right. You know, so Wells is in a, a difficult spot. And one of my favorite moments throughout the show was Wells in general. You know, just Wells had these moments um, where he knows this. He's still trying to figure out how to move. It's like he's not. I'm not entirely sure he's 100 percent committed to to just to just throwing Barry to the wolves. Basically, like he's he's at this point, like he's still in the back of his mind trying to think of some way to help him. And I thought it was interesting when Barry did think about the idea um, to tell Patty. You know, he had that real serious moment that. Mm -hmm. Listen, man, don't do it. You know, if Zoom finds out that you care for someone, you know, he'll take him away. You know, and Barry kind of brushed him off, but I felt like in that moment, Wells was... Was kind of trying to look out for him a little he bit. He really was. Like, that was the most genuine... Yeah. He was really, truly trying to be like, I'm being serious now. And if they knew more, if, if he was able to tell them everything that was going on, they probably would listen to him more, but... Yeah, I feel like... He's a he's an opportunist, right? Like deep down, he doesn't. Obviously, he hates Zoom, but he loves his daughter more than anything in the world. And and we see later on in the episode that monologue, that internal monologue, where he's just like, "I'll do anything for you." So anything would also include if I got to steal Barry's power, I got to steal Bar Barry's power. But I feel like if another opportunity arises that will give right. him the advantage, then he'll take that to to go against Zoom. Um. There was what look, look. What's a flash episode without Cisco? You know, making us laugh and talking about Doctor Wells and him and Cisco are in the van when they're trying to uh, go catch the turtle, which we'll get to in a second. But he was just like, "Why do you insist on giving them ridiculous names?" And he was just like, "Oh, who come up with the name Zoom?" And like, I don't know why, dude. I was cracking up. I thought that was funny. And then, um, of course, Wells gave this really dark, depressing story about. Yeah, how, just how, killed yeah. that moment on how, on how Zoom got his name. But uh, that was a moment that I really enjoyed. And the turtle. What did you think about the turtle? Uh, the turtle is, is just another example of the absolutely just generic blend of bad guys that came out of the, you know, 50s, 60s, and 70s comics. Yeah. Um, you know, the turtle is is a real character in the comics. You know, he's not... He's not in anything new, but he wasn't, you know, he really was an actual, you know, character. They're not making these things up. I know people are thinking, God, where are they getting these, you know, like lame bad guys? Like they're pulling them out of a bag. Now that bag is deep and it is full of really lame Obscure. sounding bad guys. But what's interesting about this guy, they did a little twist on him, a little bit different than in the comics. In the comics, he's merely just a burglar. They made this guy kind of like, a serial killer like he's a little he's, off he's you know nutty. more so i mean they they basically made this guy like he 
you know, they're talking about him like collecting things and he's got his dead wife there and he's just, they, they put him in a darker place that made him a little bit more threatening. Not to mention the fact that he has this ability to slow down things. Mm-hmm. And that's a huge deal. And I lo- once they realize what it can do, I mean, you can see Wells is just ticking. Oh, yeah. You know, Wells is like... We need this, dude. <laughs> we need this. We need this. So we got to figure out what this guy's about because in his mind, I don't think he wants to risk Barry. I think he wants to stop Zoom. Right. But he's he's exhausted all his efforts. He's exhausted everything that he can come up with. This guy shows up, this turtle, and he's like, okay, this might work. But at the same time, we did just see Barry, like, get past this guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was able to, like... He figured him out with his team. He was able to push through and zoom faster than the Flash. But they can alter it. But there was was some cool moments. You know how, you know, Barry really wanted to get to Patty, and so he was able to just push through anyway. I know they said they had those little, you know, microseconds or whatever where you had to get through, but it was cool that he, and you know, and, and the turtle saw that he was like, the Flash wants you. You know, he was concerned about you. He he never told Patty. Uh, we also have Patty where she's leaving to, to be CSI. I didn't really care for um, Joe and his son, that whole deal with Wally West, like... I feel like like they do a lot in this show. They try a little bit too hard. Like, you know, very cliche. Like, oh, not a good detective. You didn't know you had a son. Or, you know, oh, my dad wasn't there. Like, it was weird because it's like, bro, obviously you're an idiot. You know your dad didn't know you was alive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's like, get over, get over, you know, get over your personal crap. You know, I mean, the thing about Wally West, he's going to be important to the Flash. I don't feel like he's going to have a big role this season. I feel like he's being introduced this season. Um, I feel like maybe his role will be more important next season. Yeah. But at the same time, they still have to get those moments in. Um, overall, like another, like there's a few moments towards the end that I felt like were really interesting. You saw Wells basically get to that point where he's like, I'm going to do anything I can. Right. He goes in there, shoves that thing up in the turtle after they've captured him to take out. Who knows? At this point, dude, I'm pretty sure he killed him. I mean, it I, looked I'm not, like he I'm, took a piece of his brain out. Yeah, I I don't know what that was. I mean, when I go to the doctor, anything they pull out, I've never seen anything like that. You know, come he at wasn't me. he wasn't pulling out boogers. No, nah, no, nah, it wasn't like a swab <laughs> where they stick it up there to test for, uh, you know, strep throat. I mean, this was like a straight up like in your brain pull yeah. out piece. So I mean, pretty sure the turtle's dead at this point. I mean that that's that's what the vibe I get from that. And then the biggest thing at the end is reverse flash okay i mean that, what is that up little, with that and that that's interesting too because it's like you know he shows up he's talking to gideon he's like where am i you know what i'm saying i'm yeah. like i'm like which reverse flash is this you know i mean is this is this a reverse flash from i mean from world three or i don't know because i mean we know that the reverse flash in this um he's dead technically but he only died because you know what's the name kill himself it, it cut that timeline so who is he you know and i feel like the way they ended which was good because this episode this episode didn't have a, a lot of moments in it where you're just like oh this is so awesome that was my favorite kinda, moment by the way do what it was reverse flash when he popped up was probably my favorite moment it was a favorite at moment. that point i was like please continue it. and let me know what's going on right it was a good time to put it at the end because at the end we're like okay, where are they going with this? You know, what are we going to do? And they put it right there at the end, and then when they had it, it was just like, oh, okay, up, oh, you have to wait till next week. Right. Ah, man, you know. Did they, you see they, the preview? They, oh, yeah, I saw the preview. Oh, man, the preview had me hyped. The, the pre- I felt like the preview should have been this week's episode was kind of what I wanted because that looked, that looked tight. I was just like, oh. Cause somebody said something like, this is his origin story. Like, this is his beginning or something. And I think I think they're gonna have to tell that because if they don't tell that, we're not gonna understand yeah. why in the world he's back. Yeah, they got to. You know, so I'm excited. If anything, I'm super excited for next week. I think it's gonna be big. Yeah, looks like this was more of a setup. That's pretty much a review. It was more of a setup for what's to come. It seemed like wasn't a, a lot of stuff going on. Um, outside of the reverse flash popping up and some cool things like that. Uh, let us know down below what was your favorite moment. In this episode, mine was a reverse flash. So, man, like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, guys, we're out.
See ya.